Hello, what's up everyone? This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here. If you're new on my channel, I am Shasha SJ. I love to craft anything from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Goodwill, and anything that can be recycled. And I also love jewelries. And if you love jewelries, go to my Poshmark closet. It should be posted at the description down below right there go check my Poshmark closet and I have a promo everyday promo if you buy three under $15 priced jewelry it'll be priced as $20 so three piece and you get to pick what you want so that is really really cool and awesome deal right so this is one of them so you better check it out and this bracelet is stretchy this is super perfect for Valentine's and this is made of angels, Alexis angels. So check them out before it's gone. And this is super, super awesome because you can open this locket. I think this is something that you can put inside in there and it's super, super awesome. Super awesome. So check them out before it is gone and I really, really love it. Super cute nice it's perfect for valentine's because valentine's are coming so you better check it out all right so let's get into our crafting of today here we go today we are going to make an awesome craft where i got some of the items from dollar tree and walmart so first Things first is I got this family from Walmart and I think it's a dollar point zero eight cent. So this is a super nice family. And this one is from the Dollar Tree as you can see. Blooming branches from the Dollar Tree. I got this kind, I got this kind, and the roses super cute floral roses color and I really really love the color a chalk paint I got this from I got this one from Walmart a ribbon okay next is embroidery hoop and I got this from Walmart and my recycled and as you can see I love to recycle and I save all of my fabric that is beautiful color the basic color and the girly girly ish color so we'll see which one we are going to use either this color or the white color all right I don't know if that's white or something uh -oh. you know the color so <laughs> help me out <laughs> all right so yeah don't forget your glue gun and at least a rubber band or anything that can be tied somehow in our project so i'll show you why we need this one okay and a glue gun don't forget your glue gun preheated and let's get started all right so i forgot to mention guys that you are going to need a paintbrush and a magazine or any newspaper that you can protect your item because you don't want your craft mat to be you know icky somehow so right now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to remove this somehow taped wire staple that they put on their tags and this moment i'm going to paint this with this chalk paint All right, so the halfway is already done. I did that for a reason, so then I have something to hold on. And I just painted the edges, and then the next one is we are going to paint the other side, and then we are going to paint the back 
of the family word. All right, so I'm just going to make this one dry. And let's put this one aside. Now we are going to grab our hoop. Hoop, however you say it. <laughs> My stomach is talking to me, guys. I'm hungry. I don't know. <laughs> and then this one is I'm going to put this one like so, like that. And put the other side on the other side. I'm not going to paint it, guys, because I want it looking classic. And farmhouse style kind of design. You know what I mean? So, and I am thinking I'm going to have to use this kind of color. And this one, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna use that one. I'm just gonna use this white, somehow, fabric. And what I'm trying to do right now, this is the idea of where you can now use your, um, how do you call it, your rubber band. Your rubber band, because I want it to be tight like that. And it stays like that when I'm doing something because we are going to just like that I'm just going to tie it you know like I'll do it again put this whole thing here just cover it up like you're tying a hair and I am aiming to this area where it's beautiful because Remember guys, I like to recycle. So this is my recycle fabric. And I am just going to tie it like a, you know, like a hair that you're tying your hair. And I'm going to grab my hair tie. Where is my hair tie? Oopsies, okay, it's hiding underneath. So I'm just going to tie it real, real tight. All right, so since it's already tied and it's ready and good to go, and while my glue gun is preheated, we are going to, I think, continue on finishing painting because I think this other side is dry. So I am just going to paint again. When it dry we come back for it and paint the back so then we can keep on going on our project okay so be sure before you touch this guys from painting that you know you just painted an item be sure you don't touch it with your hand that has paint because you don't want to have a paint on your beautiful surface area <laughs> So right now I'm just going to glue this one and make this ribbon go wrap around here and I'm just going to glue it and I'm going to make the video go faster. with lace or ribbon down here around it there you go pretty and let's put this one aside and we are going to continue finish painting oh it's still wet so we are just going to leave them alone and we are going to undo this that we are going to cut this end like so okay and I will try to cut it almost to the closest side of that hoop okay almost to the closest side of that hoop 
and just follow your hope area. Alright, so it is super clean right there. And if you don't like those frays on the side, you can always grab a lighter and light them up so it closes that um, fabric so they won't pull and hurt this area of your hook. Right now, I'm going to show you how to light them up. Just follow those edges just to avoid those frays down there. Just follow those edge and be very, very careful you're not lighting the inside of your fabric because you don't want to ruin your day of ruining your craft that you worked so hard and started, okay? Okay, and it is done. Alright, so don't worry about this. You can always cover them up and I will show you how, okay? All right, so since it is done, we are going to grab the second layer of the hook. And you always make sure that the space that you want to use for the hook on the wall is always on the top. So, because once it is closed, it is closed. And I'm going to try to make this one down here because I'm going to put some flowers on this area okay and the good thing about this is you can adjust the hoop which is awesome and I really 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 like it because it's a super fun project and you can glue it if you want but with this tutorial purposes I'm just gonna leave it like so See, it's perfect for putting your nails in there or by your wall. Super awesome. Okay, so now we are going to get our floral garden somehow from the Dollar Tree. Did you know guys that for some reason I never make a wreath yet in my whole entire life? And this is kind of like almost like making a wreath. So I'll be super, super excited and happy if I did this. It's not a wreath, but one day, one day, one day, I will try and make a wreath. Because I never make a wreath, guys. I'm super jealous or so, I'm super jealous of everybody's wreath. And I never make a wreath in my whole life. Can you believe that? Yes. Okay, so now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to arrange these floral items on my stuff and I'm going to make this video go faster and here we go, okay? Alright guys, so what do you think? Pretty! And look at that. You won't believe that we did this one. Super awesome. 
Okay, so next, what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that our family, I just painted this one, so I am going to glue this family word down here in this area. So what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm going to put this family word in this area, and I just want to make sure that it's just one drop because it's just one drop. All right. Perfect. There you go. Super nice. And we just made an awesome wall decorative one from this amazing hoop. And what do you think? There you go. And yes, guys, this is just super awesome and pretty. I'm so excited. And that's it. And you can add a little bit more of those spaces with a pearl if you want to. And yes, I am going to do that, okay? And I got this one, guys, from the Dollar Tree as well. This pearl ones. And yes, so what do you think, guys? Super cute. I really, really, really like it. Look, this is my first time wreath that I ever made in my whole entire life. Can you believe that? I never made a wreath, guys, for sure. All right, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching Shasha SJ. I'm so happy that you are staying with me in our little tiny project of this week or today and come back next time yes and don't forget to go check on my Poshmark closet go check them out I am having a sale for three for twenty dollars and you can pick any jewelries that you want in there if it's priced fifteen dollars go put them in a box or in a bundle and make me an offer for twenty dollars and you can have those three piece which is priced for fifteen dollars for twenty dollars all right so thank you guys for watching again and come back next time see you soon you have an awesome day bye